Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And here is the fruit of Tovialis hebecarpa, the silent gooseberry. I've already made videos about Dovialis cafra, a related species from Africa, the kaffir plum, which was very tasty. They kind of tasted this one, silent gooseberry, which is... Probably not completely ripe, because it's definitely inferior to Dovialis cafra. It's a huge shrub here in the Botanic Garden of Tenom in Bordeaux. Really huge shrub. Doesn't seem to be in season because there's just a teeny tiny amount of fruit. But I'm lucky. It's on those low branches here. The rest of the shrub seems to be completely oop, devoid of fruit. I think up there there is one. Which might be slightly more ripe. So, let's see. Where, well, I got the third fruit and the hundred mosquitoes came out of the tree. So, more or less ripe fruit. Let's try them. Hmm. Definitely inferior to Dovialis cafra. Tastes like some sort of half ripe. Cherry plump with a hint of a taste which almost reminds me of bitterness, but I cannot quite place it. Not too pleasant. Not too unpleasant. <clears throat> Maybe like a half ripe soladum. <laughs> not too pleasant, not too unpleasant. Nothing, nothing too spectacular now, however. Although I've never been on the island of Ceylon, I realized they seem to like fruit with quite strange taste. They have stuff like the wood apple or the mangrove apple as their staples, as popular fruit. Those were fruit I didn't like at first, but then when I tried them a couple times and probably got good ripe ones, I found out, yeah, they can be quite nice. So maybe this, the Vialis semicarpa, I might give it another chance. It seems like most of the branches are starting to flower now. There was this one branch, fortunately a lower branch, where it still, which still had out of season fruit. Yep, yeah, I might give it another try, for right now it didn't convince me, but it might get better. Okay folks, this was Toviali Semecarpa, the Celo Gooseberry. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Borneo. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.